Well, I'm Dr. Jackie Kurveka. I'm a pediatric oncologist at the Middle University of South Carolina in Charleston. So I have a research lab that focuses on studying neuroblastoma, studying the biology of it, and trying to develop new treatments for this disease. It's the most common solid tumor of infancy. Most kids are, are diagnosed under five years of age. For close to half of the kids, um, the disease is, has spread to many parts and it's very, very difficult to treat. And survival is less than 40%. Our goal is to change that. So what we focus on the lab is a couple of things. One is studying the differences between the low-risk tumor and the high-risk tumors and try to identify the factors or proteins that are different in the high-risk tumors so we can work in collaboration with others on drug development for, to, for new treatments for, for neuroblastoma. And our goal is to take what, you know, what we find in the lab and to apply that um, so that we can um, to, to future clinical trials. I have um, a, lab, a lab manager, lab technician, and also have a postdoctoral fellow. So while I'm taking care of patients and I'm not physically in the lab, I can, you know, tell them let's, you know, let's do these experiments, and they can they can keep the work going. One of the things that we're hoping to get underway um, in the next year or so is a form of radiotherapy that's specific for neuroblastoma called um, MIBG therapy to try to de develop what we find in the lab and take them to clinical trials um, for children who relapse and to take those effective therapies into upfront trials. Um, we hope that the treatments that we can find together offer cure for and, and hope for kids who, who, don't, who don't have any hope. It's a tumor that um, comes from like young, we call like, like young nerve tissue. It's a rare cancer but it is a common cancer um, in, in pediatrics since it's a, um, really overall the third most common cancer under five years of age. And in infancy, it's the most common solid tumor um, that's diagnosed. Neuroblastoma is not associated with any environmental factors, any factors prenatally. Well, maybe you have this potential, you may be born with this potential, this group of cells that um, has the potential to grow, but what triggers it all of a sudden to take off? We, we, we don't know. One of the things that, that Whitney has done is to start this foundation to help raise awareness and to help raise money for neuroblastoma research. The, the, the money that Winnie has raised, I mean, it's just, you know, it's just amazing. Um, there's so little money, if you think, comparatively, you know, raised for, you know, for pediatric cancer research. One of the things, like we always say, is it's only research is going to find a cure. You know, only research is going to cure um, childhood cancer. 